BBC Two, there's still plenty on the way this morning, including another visit to the dumping ground. But right now, it's time for the Bright Sparks to see if they can beat the big shots. It's time for Beat the Boss. Three Bright Sparks. If we didn't win, I'd be very, very embarrassed. Three Big Shots. Cross your fingers and hold tight, because the real deal's coming. One Business Guru. That's exactly the passion you need to sell this product. Two new products. Look, it's everywhere. 25 expert judges. Oh. But only one team can win. Beat the Boss. I'm Saira Khan, and this is Beat the Boss, the show where you play the best business brains at their own game. Three bright sparks compete against three big shots to create a brand new product for the children's market. The question is, who really knows what you want? We've had freshly squeezed juice, we've had fruit smoothies, but now our teams must create the next generation branded fruit drink. Something so fruity, it'll make your mouth water. To find our teams, we've searched high and low for the most enterprising and creative minds in Britain. Today's bright sparks are Joseph, Becky and James. First, James. When he's older, he's going to go for gold as an accountant. I can't lose, I can't accept coming second place. Next, Becky, who's already surfing her way to success trading on the internet. And the competition better watch out. I uh, know it sounds really horrible, but I haven't even met him yet and I hate him. That's how competitive I am. Finally, Joseph, the computer whiz kid, who's determined to make his millions in the computer industry. I think we've got more of a chance than the adults, um, because we know what we like and what other children like. Um, and, you know, they have to base their ideas on what they think we like. That's the bright sparks, but what about the big shots? They are Rachel, Mark and Joe. When working as a cab driver, top entrepreneur Rachel came up with the idea for her best-selling board game for tourists. I am competitive, actually. Um, it's not a bad thing. I think it's quite a good thing to be. Recently voted Westminster Market Trader of the Year, Mark's gift of the gab means he can flog a scarf in under 10 seconds flat. Oh, I want to win this. Definitely, I want to win this. Finally, Jo. She spots trends for the fashion industry and is European editor for a top research website. When somebody sets me a challenge, then I rise to it and I want to do the best that I possibly can. So that's our teams, the big shots with over 40 years of business experience and the bright spots who know what's hot and what's not in the playground. They'll be battling it out for the Beat the Boss trophy, so it's time for them to get their brief. Can I come in? Yeah. Yes. Brilliant, thank you. Your brief is to create the next generation fruit drink for the children's market. It must have its own unique brand and it must only contain natural ingredients. Jo, how do you feel about that? I'm really excited by it. I think it's going to be really interesting marketing something healthy for kids. I think this will be a very challenging task since the industry is trying to force children to drink fruit, but it's not really working. Kids usually like something chocolatey or something like that, so trying to get them to have a fruit drink, um, especially our own brand of fruit drink, um, I don't know how we're going to do this, really. And Mark, are you up for this? I've got a great team with me and we can really do something with it. I'm looking forward to the challenge and, yeah, bring it on. OK, you've now got to do some market research. I'm going to leave you to it and I'll be back later to see how you get on. Are you up for this? Yeah. 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 Are you competitive? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to win? Yes. yes. The teams have got to come up with a completely new fruit juice drink for the children's market, so it has to be something that you would buy. It's not going to be easy. Last year in the UK, we drank over 1.4 billion litres of fruit juice. Spotting a gap in this competitive market is going to be tough. So both teams are off to do some research. The Bright Spots don't know much about fruit, so they've gone to a market to find their ingredients. The Big Shots have no idea what flavours children like. They've gone to a school to do some testing. So what are we going to buy? Um, I don't know. I suppose um, we want different things. We want, we want sort of an exotic flavour. Yeah. Let, let's have a look over here first. 
One pound of for an box. entire box. This is a bargain. That's amazing. Jesus. How many tomatoes are we actually going to need? Who yeah, knows? We can make a tomato juice. Yeah, the tomatoes might be cheap, but are they really going to make an exciting new fruit drink? The Bright Spots need to think about what ingredients will tempt your taste buds. These are different. Look, these are something else. New crop. New crop. Yeah. Whatever they are. I've never heard of these. Mm. What's a Sharon fruit? Anyone heard of a Sharon fruit? It looks kind of like a tangerine. Oh, but it's quite cheap. What's this? The Vava. Vava. Strawberries. Whilst the Bright Sparks are on a fruit-finding mission, the Big Shots are getting to grips with the market. If they're going to win this challenge, they need to understand what you want. Who wants to try this one? Strawberry yeah. mango. What about berries in general? Do you like the colours? Yeah. Is that what attracts you? Yeah. The one I just tasted was a bit sour, but if I had strawberry in it, it would have tasted a bit sweeter. So who thinks strawberry should be definitely included? Yeah. So if on a bottle there was the name of a fruit that you didn't recognise, would that put you off from drinking it? So if it's a passion fruit and you've never tried passion fruit before, would that put you off? No. no. Coconut, mango and apple, I'll try it. So they're getting lots of juicy inside information which could really help their product. But are the bright spots making as much of their market research? Though so we've had a bit of problems, like, on what fruit to choose and how much to choose, but we've compromised at the ends. I think it's going well. We've got quite a lot already, a lot of variety as well. Like, some of the fruits we've picked up we haven't even heard of. You can buy so many different varieties, um, and I think our smoothie's going to be amazing, you know, weird and wonderful. From what they've learned from the children, the Big Shots have worked out a cunning plan. So I think the best thing we do is to make up four selections, let everybody taste one selection each and then get take a vote which one comes out on top. Yeah, that's what, a good idea. Yeah, with. then we've got okay. our final thing, haven't we? Strawberry, banana and mango. Have a taste. Nine out of ten. Ten. Nice and sweet. This is pineapple, strawberry and mango. I think 10 because it's nice, juicy and sweet. Wow, so we've got an overall winner here. Strawberry, mango and pineapple. With the market research finished, how are both teams feeling about their challenge? There's going to be sort of strange tastes and colours and smells. Maybe something that tastes good together, we might find a combination we never even thought of. Just cross our fingers and hope. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Very, very confident. Really think that we can give them what, a run for their money, definitely. Well, they'd better be confident because they're out of research time. Now they have to brainstorm. They've got to come up with the juiciest juice that you'd want to buy. The pressure's on. So we want oranges, strawberries and bananas. Oh. I think we've got one enough now. No, this yeah, is the okay. right, <laughs> Is it a fun part? Ooh. So get cops, 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 cops. cops. Uh, so who's gonna taste? You. I think we all should. The bright spots are flying ahead with loads of ideas, while the big shots are struggling to pin down their final thoughts. Have you ever had orange juice with lemonade? Yeah. It's so refreshing. Yes. Because I was wondering whether we could add some fizz to the juice. I think what my my problem with the fizz is that I can't quite imagine having it. I don't know, I can't imagine it. There's no other drink really on the market with natural products. It's no. got fizz in it. Exactly. That's, it. that's the whole point. Yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly. why yeah I understand but that's that. why potentially it's brilliant. No, potentially that is. It's... But surely no. somebody in these big manufacturers would have come up with a concept like that if, if it was feasible to do. But Joseph's keen on fizz. Are the big shots missing a trick? That's the cup. Oh, look at the bubbles. Just give it a shake. No, because we don't want to lose the bubble. Yeah, but we want it to mix, don't we? True. OK. <sighs> Great. Right, guys, how are we doing here? Fine. Yeah? yeah? It looks like you've done loads of shopping. You've got lots of gorgeous fruit here. Joseph, how does it no, taste? I haven't tasted it. Well, would you like to taste it? Yeah. 
So you don't want to taste the product <laughs> that you're making? I think Why it's not? Just a bit strange. I just I'm, don't like fruits much, you know. I'm going to let these two do the tasting. I'm sort of going to work on the more business side of the um, project. You've got some great ideas, great fruit you've come back with, so I'd like to taste it, if that's all right with yourself. OK, so we're happy with the colour there? Yeah, yeah. That's OK. Got a yeah. bit of a foamy top. Here goes. Mmm. Mm. Okay. Interesting flavours. So you've got fizzy water, strawberries, banana, orange and grapes. I'd quite like to give you that back and say, I think, a little bit more work. OK. But uh, you are running out of time, guys. Get your skates on and get really passionate about this, you know. Put some more energy into it and experiment. This is what it's about. It should be fun. This is the exciting stage of it all. Good luck and I'll see you later. Uh, OK. Nice. Clearly, the bright spots still have to work on their flavour. But what are the big shots up to? Rachel's come up with the idea that she'd like to see some kind of um, sparkling or tingly kind of um, buzzy sensation as they drink it to make it more interesting. Right, OK. Interesting. I think you need to perhaps focus on getting that one idea right and also think about the brand identity. You haven't got long. You've got to the end of the day to come up with a brand. And my advice to you would be... Get on with it. <laughs> Thanks. What, what we story. want is coming over the side. Look at it, look at it, it's everywhere. Oh, oh blimey, we've got a fruit mush. It's crisis in the kitchen and the pressure is starting to show. As for the adults, they're going around in circles and now can't decide on a brand identity. Maybe a type of a DJ character, something that the kids can identify with. But I think we have to be careful um, there because you've got the danger of like trying to be hip and then to completely falling flat on your face. Mark, um, yeah, he's quite forthright in his ideas and views. It's simple, it's to the point, and I think going on the back with um, different slogans, different words, you're just complicating the whole issue. Yeah, I know. Joe and Mark just aren't seeing eye to eye, and the more that time ticks away, the more they seem to disagree. When you've got in a team situation, you're going to have difference of opinions. You have to be flexible, and I have my own ideas, Joe had her own ideas, but we had to come to a mutual agreement. Is almost up, and both teams are desperately trying to finish their products. The bright spots are working on their brand identity, and the big shots have finally got round to making some juice. It's nice. Wow, this looks interesting. So, um, what stage are we at? Our name is probably going to be Creative Juices. We had like a fruit spray painting it onto the carton. So, spray painting and smoothies. Do we try and make it seem like break. a sort of cool drink. And and one painting and one spray painting. Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys. Well, I think you've done a really good job so far. Some great ideas. And product probably does need improving a little bit. What you're going to do is you're going to go to a company, present your ideas, and they are going to help you to make this the best product that is possible. <laughs> And it looks like you really did put your skates on. This looks good. The name is Vibe, and uh, we've got this kind of funky dread character. OK. And it's going to be part of the branding. And it's kind of 100% natural with attitude. So these are the drinks that you've come up with? Well, basically, it's a mixture of strawberries, mango and banana. It's good, but there's bits in it. That'd be the strawberries, I think. I'm not getting a lot of self-belief here. Oh, you're not believing no, in this we've product? We've got the passion, we've got the product. Believe you me, we have the attitude to do it. That's exactly the passion you need to sell this product. The two teams have come up with completely different ideas. The Bright Sparks Creative Juices has a double-sided design which they hope will be irresistible. The Big Shots Vibe has strong branding and a nifty peel-off trading card. What's really interesting at this stage is that the Bright Sparks have really come together as a team. They're working really well, lots of passion and lots of energy. The Big Shots, on the other hand, they seem to be too worried about upsetting each other's feelings. Let's see how they get on. Because they're about to deliver their pitches to Innocent, the UK market leader in fruit smoothies. 
set up only seven years ago by three friends, they now employ more than 90 people and sell over a million fruit drinks every week. I'm anxious because I really, really want to meet the adult team. I want to know who we're up against and I feel sorry for them. I'm really confident actually. Um, I'm quite, quite nervous but I think it's going to go well. So finally we meet the three pretenders. Hi, my name's Mark. James. 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 All I've got to say is good luck. May the best team win. Obviously us. Maybe. The teams have to pitch to Joe, Innocent's brand manager for children's products. So hi everyone. Thanks a lot for coming to Fruit Towers today. Joe flips a coin to see which team goes first. Tails it is. It's the big shots. Obviously, leaving the best to last. Hi, Joe. Um, this is our initial kind of designs. Um, One of the key parts of the adults' packaging is the removable trading card on the back. How would this idea go down with Joe? Basically, what the ideal um, with a fruit drink is that it has to appeal to mums, and you've obviously got that because you're going to have a healthy recipe, mm -hmm. and then you also have to make it sort of appeal to kids themselves. So I think that's a, a really yeah. great way of bringing the fruit to life. So far, so good for the big shots, but going second for the bright spots has meant their nerves are getting the better of them. Yeah. I am just a little bit nervous. I think we've got a good presentation. We know what we're doing, but, you know, you don't know if it's good enough. After them telling us we're the pretenders, yeah. it's got us really competitive. I feel that we have to win it now. There's no way, no going back. We can't lose it now. And the other thing we were, we were thinking of was um, adding fruity bits to oh. the recipe. We've often found that a good 50% of kids just hate bits altogether. I mean, my advice would probably be to, to steer clear of bits, yeah. if I'm honest. She gave some useful points, and she seemed really positive about it, so I think we've come away feeling good. They seem confident, but it's time for the children's secret weapon, a high-tech presentation that could make the adults look like amateurs. Juice we've made contains... Pure orange juice, pineapple, melon mm. and ginger. We added ginger just to give the flavour a bit more of a kick and a bit more, make it a bit different. On the front we have a pineapple dressed to look cool and we have an apple with an easel painting the name of the drink onto the carton. I mean, you can see it on their faces. Yeah. They're really up for a fight, I think. <laughs> I'm coming with a laptop. I'm coming with a laptop. It's unbelievable. <laughs> The thing I'm really intrigued about is your um, your choice of ginger. You know, you'll find with a lot of kids drinks they use very sort of mainstream flavours, so things like strawberries and bananas. Ginger's definitely a little bit more adventurous. You know, a lot of people absolutely love it, but then some people just won't buy a drink because it has ginger in it. So, so that's given them something to think about. And with both pitches finished, which product has caught Joe's eye? It's a really, really tough call. I think my money's got to be on the big shots ever so slightly. The big shots have impressed Joe, but they need to smooth out their drink to stay on top. Time to get some help from Nikki, Innocent's recipe guru. We want to use uh, mango, strawberry and banana as a combination. The ones we've tested are a little bit thick. OK. Um, so we know we've got to water it down or mellow it down a bit. You can either add some apple juice or some orange juice um, or both. <laughs> Anything is we've lost the colour. We had a, a nice deep red colour earlier. Colour or flavour? Definitely a couple, couple of raspberries in there to enhance the colour. Yeah? Right. Yeah. The important thing on this is you want to improve the colour but not change the taste. Yes. And that's why I want you to put little tiny oh, bits in. Right. The colour was going a little bit dull, so we decided to add in a few raspberries. And I think that made all the difference because it also made the flavour a little bit sweeter. Um, and the colour a bit more vibrant, which is what we wanted. So, yeah, I think that was the trick, really. Cheers. You've got your recipe there, guys. Actually, no. I'm really happy how it's come out. We've got a winning drink, definitely. Meanwhile, the bright spots are really struggling. They're working with top designer Kat, but they're trying to cram too much stuff on their tiny carton. It's a push pineapple, gangster ginger, ghetto grapes, me melon and outlaw orange. So it's quite long. Yeah, yeah I think it'd be okay. I, I mean, think I like it long. Long, then. Because we, we want Professor Banana on the side with the ingredients. 
Is the pressure getting too much for the Bright Sparks? Oh, that's that's actually just point. We're expecting it bigger. Stronger than We couldn't keep some of our things, but I'm glad that we still managed to get our double-sided pack in. On one side, we have our banana. Your initial designs aren't the ones that you finish off with. You know, you might think that you're going to have this, perfect. but now it, it is better, I think. The adults seem to be having the better day. Will they do as well with their designs as they did in the kitchen? I'd say that they look quite different, the two different styles. The back looks very different from the front. Mm. The trickiest part of their idea is the peel-off trading card. Will this be a sticking point in the Big Shot's design? So you might want to, you know, make some kind of tab that mm. says that pull easy, here and that bit's not off. stuck down. Yes. Yeah. Shots have a strong brand and clear ideas. It all seems to be coming together. Are their combined business brains leaving the bright sparks behind? I like that, don't you? Yes. It looks really good. It just comes alive. And it looks really vibrant and bold, and I think um, if you're in a supermarket, you'll definitely recognise it when you walk to, you know, walk past the shelf. Time's running out for the Bright Sparks and they have to improve their recipe. They've decided to add some crushed grapes to make their juice thinner. The taste is really nice. It's a big improvement. You can taste everything and there's less lumps. It really makes the flavour stand out with the grapes and the ginger and everything as a combination. It's really, really nice and I'm really, really proud of it. But is there any chance Joseph might actually taste his product? It's all right. Mr. I hate fruit, think it's all right, and it's obviously great. I don't like fruit very much, and I'm quite glad I sort of made myself do it. I understand what they mean where you can taste all the different flavours. I didn't actually know what they were, but I could taste lots of different things. After a busy day at the company, what does Joe think of the products? They're both fantastic recipes. They both taste delicious. They're totally different combinations of fruits. So um, I'm afraid the packaging's just clinched it for me. It's got to be the bright spots. So the bright spots have put themselves back in the game at the very last minute. But it's our judges who will decide which product wins the Beat the Boss trophy. It's the day of the big decision. The two teams are about to arrive at Beat the Boss HQ to see their finished products for the first time and to find out which is the winner. I'm very confident that we've got a really good product, so I'm really hoping that we do win. If we win, I'll feel that later on in life I could be successful. I think the other team have got like a one in a thousand chance of winning. One in a million chance. If we win, I'll be absolutely ecstatic. There was the three pretenders at the beginning of the programme, and they're going to still be the three pretenders at the end. If we didn't win, I'd be very, very embarrassed. Cross your fingers and hold tight, because the real deal's coming. So now it's time to see the results of all of your hard work. This is your product. There you oh, are. wow, look at that. What do you think? Yeah, it's very good. Very, very distinctive. I think it looks fab. It's great, and I love the trading card on the back. We weren't sure if they'd be able to do that. I love it. I think uh, the design's just what we wanted, and the colours look great together, the yellow and the pink. We were a bit worried about that, but it's turned out brilliantly. Brilliant. You've just seen their product. Do you think your product is better than theirs? I think so, I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. Here it is. Wow. What do you think? That's brilliant. brilliant. James? Speechless. It's exactly the way I thought it would be. This is better than I thought it would be. Yes. I think the other team's product was very good, but I don't think it appeals to kids as much as ours does. Though the trading card game at the back was a very, very good idea. We should have thought of that. I think it's going to be a tough call. I think if we were to win, it would be the trading card that swings it for the judges. Well, that's what you think about your products, but what did your target market think? Let's have a look at what 25 8 to 12 year olds thought. First up, the Bright Sparks product, Creative Juices. Sweet and juicy. I'd definitely buy it. 
think it's the best juice I've ever tasted in my life. Horrible. Well, I like the bits. The bits are good. And the drinks with bits in it, it ain't no nice, but this is nice. Don't like pineapple. Ooh, that's all that's all I can taste. It's all right, but I don't like the bits in it. Really creative, like it's got like an apple painting. I think it's a little bit too um, dark. The pictures are really creative. And what do the judges think of the Big Shots product vibe? I like it because um, it's not that sharp and it's not that sweet. It's a bit sour. It tastes like strawberry and grapes. I like the red better than yellow because I think it has a better taste. To it. You sort of have to punch it. The flavours in this one don't quite match each other. I think that there's a little bit of a like, clash between them. I do like it. It looks kind of like the Jamaican guys dancing in the sun. Energy boost, uh, ATA. Oh, it's like a card game. I think the picture on the front doesn't really suit what the drink is. I pay probably at max £1.50. Call it a different name. I would like this. Yeah, I love Who is going to win? So, who did our 25 judges vote as the overall winner? The winner of the Beat the Boss trophy... ..by just one vote... Bright spot. Yes. Congratulations! Well done. Yes. There you go. Well done. Congratulations, you beat the bosses. There's a limousine waiting for you outside to whisk you away. And commiserations, but you are going home on the bus. Guys, you beat the bosses. How do you feel? Really, really, really happy. Now we are the bosses and it's a great feeling. So great to think we've beat all the adults. Losing by one vote was really hard, but it's better than losing by ten votes. Don't underestimate children. I think that they do know their market and this has proven it. Devastating, really. We beat the bosses! <laughs> England, a master magician seeks his apprentice. Fourteen chosen ones summoned to face the greatest challenge of their lives. <laughs> Just two weeks to master magic, mystery, and mice. <laughs> who will conjure up success? And who will be eliminated? All will be revealed in The Sorcerer's Apprentice. Starts Monday at 5 on CBBC One. Tracy Beaker's coming up in half a...